I called unexpected visit. They look at him, he looks at them, and they have their own interaction, and they have their own story, and uh, it's not my story, but his story. But it is interesting that you were a fourth or the third element, the third visitor in the picture, as an unexpected, abruptly he disturbs the conversation or the uh, dinner they are having, which is very simple, but you see the tension that it, it creates over here with the... Maybe he was her lover, Maybe. and that's his husband, then... or oh, he is her lover. Yes. I... Who knows? We don't know it. Work have to have some kind of mystery. If not, it's not interesting. I try to, like, like a blind man, to, to understand what, what, what is happening here. They are moving there, da, 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 till they found their own place. What kind of truth do you want us to understand about this lady? I'm looking for uh, some small truth and to find you know, a very small truth of this or that. I suppose there are a number of truths. One of my ideas fix is an uh, unbeautiful body. It's not perfect. It's beauty of unperfect human being who is struggling, as I think Rodin told it. Beauty in art is a character. What's the name of this uh, painting? I call it Three Women with a Child. And uh, you know, before it, 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 it was a man here, but uh, he left and uh, out of nowhere came a child. I prefer it to be part of mystery. I'm just, you know, I'm just, uh, how do you know? The craftsman. craftsman. But for me, it was a great pleasure uh, to, to do this kind of green. It's not a green which you can buy in an art supply shop. It's a special green to make a, a touching, a touch between two colors with the third one. For me, it was important to make an internal movement in the picture. And it, it has to be some kind of rhythmic movement. It's not It's like ta, 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 up! You know, these uh, things which hold all the work together. Sketches for new works. Uh, once more, uh, in every work there is a skeleton, yeah? But skeleton is inside. You ha don't have to see it. We don't have to know everything. Art which demands explanations and art which you can explain is simply doesn't interesting. Exactly as uh, Saint Exupéry told that the main things you cannot see with your eyes, the most important things, you cannot tell by words. You tell it by smile, you tell it by jest, you tell it by eyes, but not with words. What is your uh, outlook or perspective on contemporary life as it is explained or elaborated in your, the paintings? When I'm at uh, Paris or Rome, uh, people uh, they are very comfortable inside the landscape. In Israel, from the very beginning, I felt a very strange contrast between landscape and people. That's 
a landscape of mythos, uh, of uh, history. After all, the uh, Bible was produced here. And between this historic and mythological uh, space, ordinary people, they uh, struggle and they, uh, and they love. And uh, that means uh, the main thing which I feel for them, it's some kind of compa compassion. Regarding to this painting, you told me about uh, Goya. Is yes, for example, uh, a special effect of uh, rose and greenish, uh, which is uh, at, uh, Goya, a great maestro of his play. And uh, here, for example, for me, just for me, it's some kind of reference to uh, Piero della Francesca. And maybe in the clouds, even, maybe. Uh, if you ask me where from came a curtain, I don't know, it wasn't uh, in uh, sketches, but it came. Uh, this is a unique image and a perspective of the Dead Sea. First of all, I love uh, Dead Sea very much. And it's very interesting to see European tourists was white skin and so on, which became very purple in a number of minutes. The title is Bathing in the Dead Sea. We speak about water and death. They were going to the other side and I don't think that they will be back. I suppose you can see the, almost the desert-like Texture yes, I texture think, thank you. You see, I, I always was amused by how a uh, landscape of uh, Judean desert looks like a human body. The sketches for this walk. That's a sketch for those three, girl, the three girls. You made a, a kind of a decision to portray people which are not in their prime of their lives. What does it represent in your contemporary thinking? Everything in this world is uh, self-portrait. And uh, that's me. That's me. After all, it's about a love. And everything what I am doing, it's about a love. But you know, to be in love with uh, a perfect body, it's very simple. Uh, try to be in love with an imperfect body, but it's much more interesting body which have seen something in his life, it's uh, much more interesting than untouched by the fate and by the problems. It's have a story, it have a story and it's interesting story because it gives you uh, material to, to work. I would like to talk about the technique you use. Mm -hmm. It is very uh, unique to create this very large paintings on board instead of canvas. What effect are you achieving by that? First, first of all, it's effect of a lot of problems because it has to move, it's very heavy and so on. But uh, second, I hate uh, a moving surface. I need something strong which uh, give me a struggle, give me, you know, contour, contour yes. Then, uh, because of the uh, kind of grunt I use, uh, it gives some kind of texture which uh, gives some kind of vibrations because of light and it uh, suits my idea of uh, skin and uh, all those it gives ideas. It a texture of uh, fresco. And it's it gave, fresco. Yes, 
it's, uh, it should give, uh, I hope. Many of your paintings have a very dominant element of humor, even when it is a mythological story. And for me, he like San Sebastian, but unfortunately without arrows. You can kill a man with different uh, arrows. One of the arrows of our time, it's uh, cellar. Next is uh, ice cream with a lot of sugar, and so on and so on and so on. So it's always a clash, clash of different things which usually people don't like to mix together. Serious things one should tell in a very unserious way. If not, it will be too much. Oof. I would like to talk with you about the element of celebration of life. I think that we should celebrate every day of our life because alternative is uh, much uh, sadder. Once more, I try to understand what happens here. Uh, I uh, recall a story of death of Orpheus. He was killed by a group of women. But once more, if they kill him, why he is so happy? After all, when I work on my uh, picture, I try to solve very simple problems. The problems of organization, problems of balance, movement of uh, color. There is a feeling you are trying to convey. Uh, even it, I'm not sure. Not sure. <laughs> even here. But I know uh, another way. When the work is finished and I, I cannot improve it, uh, after some time, that's not me who did it. That's not me. I look at those works and ask who is the man who did it? Sometimes it's uh, who is a very good artist who did it. Um, sometimes I think, but they, they are not mine. They are not mine.